Meteorologist Brandon Lawson joins us now. Brandon, I'm, I'm tongue tied because I'm still <laughs> trying to get all that I can out of summer. But you say it will feel like summer later on today. Oh, it's definitely going to feel like summer. So the first day of fall, if you're not a big fan of it, don't worry. We're going really into more summer like weather today. Yesterday was the last day of summer. It certainly felt like it outside. 87 degrees was the high temperature yesterday. And it felt like near 90 in some locations. We factored in that humidity and that strong sun we had yesterday. So hopefully you're using some caution outdoors. You'll have to do the same today. Drink plenty of water. We're starting in the mid to upper 60s. Charlotte still at 72 degrees this morning. So definitely a mild start to our first day of fall. Up in the mountains, Boone at 55, 61 in Jefferson. Feeling a little bit more like fall up there, but it's still going to be mild for them even later this afternoon. Afternoon. Festival in the park continues today. Festival in the park continues today at Freedom Park. 76 degrees at 10 o'clock. We'll call it about 87 degrees by 4 o'clock this afternoon. So going to be toasty again today. Again, Festival in the park runs until about 5 o'clock this evening. High temperatures, taking a look at it. 90 is what we'll reach today in Charlotte. We're looking at 90 in Monroe today. I think Rock Hill and also Chester will get above 90 degrees. Maybe even areas like Sherrall could reach that. Most of the rest of the region will stay in the upper for 80s, even boo to Jefferson. I wouldn't be shocked if you folks in the high country reach that 80 degree mark later today. So we're dry today. No concerns with rain. We are tracking a frontal boundary back to our west. It's moving through St. Louis and Chicago. That'll eventually bring some moisture our way as we start the work week. I think we'll be dry today, though. If we see anything today, it may be a stray shower up towards the high country. Most of us will be dry today, though. As we go through the day tomorrow, I do expect an increase in clouds. That'll keep us a little bit cooler tomorrow, but still warm and humid. But then notice as we go into the afternoon, that front tries to approach here, so we're tracking a little bit more shower and thunderstorm activity. A few scattered showers, some rumbles of thunder, and possibly some stronger wind gusts, too. I don't necessarily think we'll see severe storms tomorrow, but we could see some gusty winds out of some of these storms as they pass through tomorrow. Not everybody's going to see rain. It's going to be pretty hit or miss. We'll call it about a 40% chance of rain before things dry out by Tuesday morning. We are tracking the tropics. Two disturbances out in the Atlantic, but the real tropical outlook we really are looking at right now is this system down here. This disturbance down in the Western Caribbean and through the Southern Gulf. It's likely going to become Helene later this week, and as it becomes Helene, we're going to have to watch it. It's going to track through the Gulf of Mexico, but notice there's still a lot of uncertainty with this track. So we know it's going to be Helene later this week. There's just uncertainty about where Helene's going to go. Now, there could be some possible tropical rainfall for us late this week. We'll keep an eye on it for you as we get a little closer to that. Tomorrow's forecast will start around 70 in Charlotte. Going to be a mild start to the day. More clouds. I do expect some scattered showers and storms for the afternoon, though. First day of fall for the region, we're looking at 79 degrees the mountains, possibly up to 80 in some locations in the high country. Higher chance for rain as we go into tomorrow across the mountains. I do think we're cooler, though. We're cooler for the Charlotte area starting tomorrow, 84 degrees with some scattered storms. A better chance on Wednesday as that front crosses. Then we'll watch for some tropical moisture late this week.